What is good? What's Hello. up? Hello. How is everybody doing? Good. Good, good. I mean, it's a Wednesday hump day, midweek. <laughs> what do you, what do you, be what do you mean? Today's the best day of the week. It's oh, yeah, Star Wars recording. day. Now, yeah, right? not, no, I mean, not now. just. Now, it got good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're recording. <laughs> we got new Star Wars oh, hell yeah. episodes. We got new Star Wars comics. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. a pretty good fucking day, if I do say so. Yeah, pretty good day. Um, I see paper on the on, on the table so that's yes, yes. <laughs> so uh Spoilers. we will definitely get to that here no oh, damn <laughs> Stop i forgot to give that to you three minutes <laughs> no i didn't <laughs> it's in my leg There's, you can still write with it <laughs> my leg. oh my god hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the punch chewy podcast uh it's good to be back yeah um my god it's been a hell of a couple weeks right yeah this week really flew by this week really flew by it feels like we just filmed last week's episode yeah um but it's been good i mean we we did a lot we had our engagement party we uh, after being engaged for two years (laughs) yeah i mean okay we got engaged in december of 2020 yeah so you couldn't even ask my parents in person no i couldn't so okay. yeah um but we finally had one you know better late than never yeah it was, it was really fun. nice it was fun um we had like about 50 of our closest 50-ish. like friends and family um it was really nice we had it at my parents house and there were still people i w- would have wanted to invite yeah but you know it was such a <laughs> such madness to yeah. plan yeah that it was madness I, to plan i decided to spare them i don't think we could have fit more than 50 people <laughs> no yeah at it was a my lot parents it was house a lot. either <laughs> it was a lot a lot of people we didn't even know which was really cool yeah really some extended family really cool to not know people um, <laughs> that are at your party <laughs> yeah, yeah that happens you're like i held you in when you yeah were a baby. And I'm exactly like, Who that are happened you? with his little brother because um one of our neighbors was a soccer coach yeah um yeah. so we went to the same middle school um mm. and one of my neighbors was a soccer coach of his little brother yeah um and he was like hey like do you remember me and he was like no, no. sorry yeah. i was <laughs> like six years old i don't remember you chuck is like so honest to the point where he's like i'm not gonna lie to make you feel yeah better. most yeah. people would you know? be like oh yeah totally we right more of that now chuck was like who yeah. are you yeah. Am like, I supposed to know? No, no, no. <laughs> not that. Not like that, but just. Good job, Chuck. No, yeah. no really. <laughs> good. You weren't very job. memorable, so yeah, I don't sorry, remember yeah, you. I don't remember you. Um, Maybe we won a couple more matches. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Remember. Exactly. <laughs> um, it was nice. It was nice. It was a really, really good weekend, a uh, really good week. Uh, we got some awesome new uh, episodes of. We got an op- awesome new episode of Mando. A new episode of Bad Batch with a lot of Easter eggs that I love. A lot of themes that I really enjoyed exploring. We'll get into that. Um, And uh, I thought we'd also maybe try out our, you know, our drawing game again. That was was so much fun. (laughs) Um, People seem to enjoy that. Uh, So, oh, and also by the time this episode comes out, it will have been my birthday. Yes. So Yay, we will you're have... old hag. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'll be 27 Seven. <laughs> by the time this comes out. I'll Amazon Prime a cane. Uh, oh. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> My knees need it. Yeah. Ooh, he's like, you think that was a diss, but I'd actually <laughs> No, practical gifts. That. I like it. I like it. That's the okay, theme. Okay. Forget the socks. <laughs> I'm going to come in. Hello, Mr. Fredrickson. Oh, my oh, God. God. <laughs> so bad. You se parecen. You se parecen. Look, my annoying go. badge. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, all right. Miserable. No, okay. All right, all right. We got an awesome episode planned. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining us. Uh, really quick, before I forget, please be sure to, uh, you know, if you enjoy the show, if you listen to us, or if you're just finding us, uh, rate, review, subscribe. That helps us a lot. And you stay up to date with uh, each episode that comes out. Uh, new episodes every Wednesday. Yep. Uh, we we upload highlights every week on YouTube of the best moments of the podcast. So, uh, yeah, l- like I said, it helps us a lot. So um, if you enjoy it, enjoy the show, uh, please do so. Uh, so, yeah, let's smash the like button. Yes, yeah, smash the like button. Hit that subscribe. <laughs> 
uh but yeah let's open up the show uh i uh found this i thought you'd enjoy it okay <laughs> pop it to start <laughs> oh wait wait wait, wait. Pop it. <laughs> i i realized that they can't read what it says yeah if they're just listening so I'll... <laughs> it says in case you want pedro pascal to give you uh suggestive instructions oh my god and then god. it's the grogu bop it and it's these two girls <laughs> at, like at a walmart oh my god okay. playing with the bop it. <laughs> so, there you go bop it to start bop it twist it <laughs> Oh, it. Oh, it. <laughs> That's so bad. That's so bad. <laughs> it's like so cute, but like yeah. out of context. It's like, oh, it's so cute. We're fine. We're all fine here. Oh. No, thank you. How are you? That was Bo in the last episode. It's just, yeah, it was. Oh, Silva again. Uh, again? How many oh times are you going to do I'm this? I'm going to be in charge of the audio. Oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> I've never seen a bad bad one. Like, I'm sure it exists. I love that you st- you uh, like to bring up topics in the middle of our intro. I'm not just going <laughs> to not talk for like 45 seconds. What do you mean? That's the intro. <laughs> it's very <all> good. <laughs> I want to hear my own voice, so She's let me. She's a free spirit, okay? Oh, yeah, my God. You can't that's... tame me. <sighs> <sighs> can't tell me what to do. You know what? Maybe. You have your own mic. If you don't want to talk in your mic, that's fine. But no, I'm not no, talking no. to my it's, mic. It's the intro song's turn to, to, to speak. You know what I mean? That's it's sentient. Yes, it's sentient. it it serves our <laughs> podcast weekly. Okay. Doesn't get paid. Do I get paid? Yeah, <laughs> actually. <laughs> I guess he has this theme song has feelings. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> it's an AI. <laughs> I was yeah. just excited to show my mug. Okay. No, no, no. Yeah, it's fine. So as you were saying, you wish there were Bad Batch mugs? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, because I love coffee mugs. No, yeah, me And they, too. Like, they only make like Mando ones. Like Disney won't put anything out well, other than Mando. As we just <laughs> were just talking about, because we saw the news of Willow being canceled, what? they don't do anything uh, yeah. if it doesn't bring them loads of cash. Yeah, oh, it's really that. sad. Yeah. Willow uh, got canceled. It was after like one season, really good. Like people loved it. Yeah. And, well, yeah. the fans loved it. Fans yeah. of Willow. Well, loved I'm part it. of the problem. And yeah, so because... I'm part of the problem. No, no, no. <laughs> no. There's look, 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 look. Here's the fucking thing that really, and right we're starting you. this podcast off with a fucking <laughs> with a rant. bang. Here's hell what yeah. fucking pisses me the hell off about <laughs> the current climate of not just it's not just Disney. I'm not going like oh Disney. No. it's it's across the fucking board with the, these with these companies the industry with Those the flowers. industries because what what they'll do is say netflix or disney pick one right netflix, yeah. they're like oh this we're gonna make this awesome new show that fans will love right yeah or hope right yeah, yeah. that's that's how they push it right yeah. we're making this to because you know it's the story right yeah. um and then it comes out. The fans that love it love it. They watch it. They enjoy it. This they're happy that they're finally being catered to again. Yeah, you they're know? talking about it. They're online. talking about it online. They're cosplaying the they're characters. Cos- exactly, making art and yeah. and and let's say, uh, you know, in Willow's case, it wasn't as big as The Mandalorian. Yeah. Right. <laughs> And they're like, well, yes, it may have done really well with the fandom, but it didn't do well compared to The Mandalorian. And that's all we want is to make shows that are as big 
as the Mandalorian. Mm. And let me hop off Disney right, you know, for a second. Netflix. They want yeah. every show to be Stranger Things. Yeah. Oh my oh. god. They want everything they release to be as big as Stranger Things. There have been like at least three projects that we personally loved, were a fan of. Would have watched would ten have watched seasons 10 of 10 it. Ten seasons of. <laughs> and they cancel it after the first season because it's not doing Stranger Things numbers. Yeah. And that's what pisses me off is like, you know how many movies from our like, you know, from past, you know, yeah, from the past, like yeah. fucking movies from the 80s, movies from the 90s, early 2000s, even 2010s. Fucking yeah. pick one. Yeah. How many were just made because... The writer, director, whatever you want to call them, had a vision. They sure. said, I have, a, I have an idea for this story that I think would be amazing as a movie or as a show or as a car, uh, an animated movie, whatever. And there was only one because they said, that's the story, right? Yeah. And it's one of the... And, and, and like it came out and everyone that watched it loved it, but it wasn't like the next star wars right yeah it became like a cult classic that's kind of like the whole fucking point of cult yeah. classics yeah. is that yes it didn't make billions of dollars in the box office but there's die hard but fans. There, there's a whole culture and like yeah. you know behind that one fucking movie it, you know what it i mean made an imprint on the community exactly that watched it exactly and it's like yeah. and, and usually those movies are like torn apart critically Oh my god! Like yeah. you know, like they're it's torn the apart. the worst movie so, ever. Exactly, exactly. It's and like, you're like, not it, everyone that watches a movie is a forty year old single movie critic. <laughs> yeah. Shit. <Okay>. Like, <laughs> boom. Roasted. No, no, no. Sorry, no, no. I, it's yeah. true. It's like, no, I, I. That's that's <laughs> what I think is is really sad about the current climate of, you know, the industry because it's like, yeah. just make it, and the right people will love it and support it and and yeah and they're doing buy... it backwards no no no. they're starting with how much money can we make off of a story yeah before they even have a story yeah they and... don't even have a plot and they're like okay so this is the director <laughs> and this is the cast yeah and we're gonna make it here and this is the budget okay what is the movie oh we don't know yet but it's coming out in six months yeah. how yeah. can you possibly yeah, yeah, yeah. You couldn't even do a fan film like that, let alone a movie with a hundred million dollar budget. Yeah. No, no, no. Like, I, I don't know how they're doing it backwards. It's and it's, it's showing and it's not working. And that's what's frustrating is like, okay, yeah, you want to try something out, see if it works. It's not working. It's not just, working across the board. It's I not just like, don't understand what what the point or incentive is to be like, we're gonna try out this billion dollar show. Yeah, and if it does not as well as we thought, but it—I bet you it did well. Yeah, I bet you it did very well. Yeah, but not to like how their expectations, right? Yeah, and they're like, what I'm trying to say is like, I don't get the point of we'll try out one season. How many fucking millions of dollars did they like put into that season? Yeah, that's a lot of and, money to gamble, and and, and 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 not have the mindset of even if season one doesn't do great. We still have the capital to invest for a season two yeah. and or season three. Okay, that's the other Because shows is... don't get, sorry, shows don't like really flourish until after the first season. Yeah, like three or four is when it usually picks up yeah. if it's written well and they're establishing the world and the characters. Even Clone Wars. Yeah. Fucking Clo Clone no, Wars like, is a prime example. Every single show you watch, the first season is the worst. Yeah. And that doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. Not as it's bad. Just, it's just it's the not... least good. Yeah, because... <laughs> Find her footing, dude. Yeah exactly. yeah, exactly. You can only get so far with 10, 12 episodes. Exactly, but... But, but, but they're not studios, willing to invest in that. These studios don't want to take the risks. No. They don't want to take a risk of, maybe it's not good. Yeah. But it's like, it is. And then... And people like it. On the flip side of that, they'll drag on a show like Riverdale Fuck. that should have ah. ended like Ugh. after four or five seasons. Yeah. And they just keep going and it's yep. inverted, upside down, backwards. People are 
people that were dead or alive, people that are alive or dead. And, and then and now it's hell in Riverdale. Is, yeah, backwards. And, and it's like, okay. And there's a cult. And then, you know, there's no, they're metahumans. And no, then it's they're... it's too much. <laughs> it's too, like, I'm all for the that's, sci-fi horror, whatever. But I like, with, like, it's just a mess. CW's portrayal of superhero shows. Like, yeah. Yeah. Flash is like, yeah, finally, thank God, they're on their final season. Yeah. But nine seasons. Yeah. Yeah, it's nine. like. <laughs> okay, but here's the thing. There were shows. There used to be shows where it was like, yeah, that show needs fucking 20 seasons. Like X-Files. Like Law and Order. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of no, crime. No, no, no. Don't no, 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 no. make fun of Ice Cube, man. I'm joking. I, yes, but I'm also joking. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, X-Files. Friends. X-Files. Freaking Big Bang Theory. Friends. Uh, friends, yes. Because oh, those those types of shows. A hell of well, they're they're di- they're different. It's different. That's like a okay. that's like a sitcom. Sitcoms okay, okay, yeah, like you right. can have right. fucking fifty seasons of, right? Yeah, and it doesn't their, matter. It's following their life. Yeah, and it, every yeah. episode is just True. like a different fucking thing, right? But I'm talking about stories with a narrative, okay. like 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 reality oh, changes not, you're because talking about of like this one guy going to like an old building and he finds like reels or, or oh videotapes. oh fucking archive 81 uh, that, yeah that I was like our favorite fucking thing they put out in a long time literally literally one of my favorite it's my favorite netflix show fuck stranger things fuck all that <laughs> shit let me zoom in fuck stranger <laughs> <laughs> no Clip i love it. stranger things i love stranger things but compared to archive 81 fuck them kids archive 81 right? is like a completely original plot no and no no premise I, and like you're not yeah. you cannot predict what's going to happen next it was you so can't. so it's good. so good so freaking good and the cool part is it's based on a podcast yeah it's based on a That's podcast so cool. which is awesome um so if you have not checked i'm we have talked about this on the podcast like but when it came ago. out yeah if you have not watched archive 81 do it on netflix you're gonna binge it first of all do it. i warn you there's no more seasons after that yeah. because they canceled it. Yeah. You know, uh, whoop. It's still worth watching. Big whoop. No, not going to lie. I uh, was at work and my manager was describing just the show, not the title. And I picked it up and I knew it was that show. And he was talking about it with so much passion. Dude. He's like, dude, we binge watched the first four episodes. We could have done the whole season. We did but the whole we season. We watched it in one day. <laughs> but the way uh, my manager was like talking about it, yeah. I was like, do I break his heart? Or no. I was like, I Let him find out. The end, I was yeah. like, there's no more seasons. He's like, yeah. what are you talking about? No, he didn't know. He didn't know. Uh, no. See, that's what I mean. That's exactly what I mean. Yeah. It's like all these, sh- like Archive 81, amazing, amazing series. Yeah. Amazing. You know what they should fucking do? Just sell it off. Like sell the show off to some other, other like sell it to Hulu. They'll fucking yeah. make it. I don't know. Or like. Well, I guess it's tricky because they release everything all at once. But it's like, okay, if you don't think you're going to make more than one season, don't, don't give make us it. A, no, but don't give us a cliffhanger. Exactly. If it's going to be one season, then exactly. wrap it all up. Look, start fucking don't be like, George Lucas. I love cliffhanger you. Cliffhanger and then I love you. nothing. Look, people are going to want to compare this to Star Wars and be like, well, Star Wars was not, they didn't, George didn't have a plan. No, he didn't fucking have a plan. But the possibility was still there. After yeah. after the first movie, he did not have a plan. Like, he fully expected to fail. He fully expected the movie to be garbage, to yeah. no for no one to like it. So that's why the ending of episode four. It's either way. It could either end right fucking there, or it became yeah. what we got. They're just looking forward to the future. Exactly. So it's like. But now these fucking shows that they're like, oh, this new big fucking Netflix show is the next big Disney Plus show. And then they leave you with a fucking cliffhanger at the end of season one. You're like, oh, what's going to happen next? And they're like, oh, canceled. <laughs> yeah. Fucking canceled. Dude, okay, it's crazy, too. They won't even tell the cast. They, the I know. cast will well, go already? on press tours and be like, oh, yeah, like I'd That's love to so do a season fun. two and explore this and explore that. And then people in the comments are like, Who's gonna tell so who's gonna tell him <laughs> that's fucked up professionally <laughs> come on yeah damn not even an email that's fucked like up. you make them make yeah. a fool of themselves they're trying to promote your stuff well, and did that, did, are, are we sure that that happened with willow no that didn't happen with willow okay, okay. that happened that's just been happening in general like oh, it, yeah that's fucked up 
Um, it's but just yeah, sad. I mean, like, why? Look, it doesn't need to be like that. Look, I may come off angry, <laughs> heated, <laughs> nah, really? frustrated, you sure? tense. Yeah. Uh, what's another word? Pissed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Triggered. I'm not. Yeah, look, look. <laughs> it's it's passion. Okay, like I okay. and look. I could be talking shit and then not have a subscription to Disney Plus or Netflix, yeah. or Netflix but I fucking do. Yeah. I give them my money every month. I'm just here as a concerned patron. <laughs> concerned patron. A concerned consumer of media. Consumer yeah. of media. And I'm just saying, take a chance. Take a chance. On. Um, <laughs> Flag. <laughs> <laughs> Copyright. Uh, no, but like, honestly, like all jokes aside, it's... You know, give these original ideas a chance. You know, like, stop only relying on the big names, the big yeah. titles, where it's like, well, if we don't make a cool billion, <laughs> you know, yeah. we have to cancel it. No, fucking pull up. Just look, if you make things right, if you do them for the story, for the fans, for, you know, the sake of telling a story. Yeah. And yes, your returns may not be what you expected after that first season, but fucking imagine, imagine a second or third season. We could have already, we could already be on season three of Archive of 81. Yeah. You know what I mean? Imagine that third season. It'd be crazy. It would have been crazy. Because the first, the first season is setting up this whole thing. Yeah. And then it ends. Yeah. And it's like. It's like you got to the final boss and you're yeah. about to walk in. Yeah. And they're like, that's it. No, no, no. It's, it's... You can guess what happens next. Yeah, yeah. You <laughs> figure it out, asshole. That's what yeah. they say. Um, but, you know, I'm just, I'm just here. I think uh, it's been like to, to play devil's advocate or whatever. I think they've been a mess since COVID. Like, all these studios. Like, these studios have been a mess since, like, yeah. Hollywood shut down completely. Yeah. And they're trying to figure out, like, because it's a new, I don't say new normal because I hate that phrase, but, like, it is. Like, it's mm. different now. Mm. It's never going to be the way it was, right? Yeah. There are still things that they do that they used to do, but, like, it's just different now. Yeah. And... It just, the management, like, the organization of things is just not there. Yeah. And it's, yeah. like, I get it. I'm not, like, 100% like, meh, 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 you know. But, like, yeah. but it's, like, it's in their best interest to be organized and plan things out and, like, commit to the stories they're telling. Yeah. It's, yeah, yeah. like, why are you doing all this if not True. to tell a story? Yeah. No, no, no. I, I... I mean, I hope it changes. Yeah. I hope that changes because... Hopefully it's, like, it's just ugh. growing pains. <laughs> we'll see. But, you know, I think we've... we've uh, Talked about this yeah, enough. We can yeah, move on. We yeah. Can, we can move on. But uh, we'll see. I mean, I, I it's sad to see shows like Willow True. be yeah. canceled, especially, like, knowing how much... Uh, and it was supposed to be this big passion project comeback, right? Like, yeah, like, they're like yeah. the ladies in them. They're like, yeah, they're like, we want to celebrate like the beauty of this world and this movie and, and the these history characters and, and the legacy. And, and, and then mm -hmm. it's like, Ye oh, really? I'm sorry. Was that what were your numbers? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take that back. Uh, that's that's what's sad. I'm just like, okay, yeah. well, I mean, I hope they don't do that to Star Wars shows. Oh wait. <laughs> Um. <laughs> anyway, uh, let, let's talk about the Star Wars shows that we do have. Yes, yeah. <laughs> that haven't been canceled. Um. So Bad Batch was really fun. Yeah, it was really really fun. Very different episode. I don't think we've ever seen like a um like a natural disaster in Star Wars. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. We've never seen oh, no, no. like an earthquake. Or a tsunami. I don't think or, so. Or, you know, like anything like that. Yeah. So I thought that was really cool to see in this. Because we never see that. Yeah. You know, it's always like galactic you know, issues. You know it's not like realized? world. What? Yeah. Um, that's what the Empire said happened to Camino, right? That there was a storm and it destroyed oh, yeah. all the cities. So that's an interesting 
like um yeah parallel parallel Parallel. thank you that's an interesting parallel of like well that that's what they said happened but it's absolutely not what happened but it is what happened on this other on their new new home yeah their new home it did get destroyed by a storm but they're not leaving that's also sad and ironic because they had a whole banter of like the empire was never gonna get here like yeah and then nature's just like hold my beer literally (laughs) yeah i'm the problem literally yeah oh the empire's not here but my ass is yeah (laughs) um yeah no it's it it was really cool the world was beautiful yeah like immediately i was like ooh, yeah greece yeah we're in greece right now ooh, yeah. and then the buildings really i don't great. know if you noticed they looked like barnacles yeah like from t- from up top i loved it um and then they had sushi mm-hmm. fucking greek sushi star wars i want to try it bring it to galaxy's edge i need to try it yeah let's yeah. do let's do this open open a restaurant with uh pabu sushi yes on galaxy's edge and <sighs> That'd be so we'll good. fucking they, be there. They should do like the whole Boba Gump, but Bo- sorry, what was that? <laughs> Boba. Uh-huh. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it's Star Wars, it would be Boba Gump. Boba Gump. <laughs> oh, nice. Make it, make it now. Yeah, draw I it. Myself, stop it. <laughs> Boba Gump oh shrimp. Oh my god! Are you just time stamping this shit. <laughs> no, I'm just drawing no, just Boba, Gump. Boba Gump. Boba <laughs> Gump. Just oh go on. God. That's what no, he does in his, <laughs> in his retirement. No, they should do like a, you know. What? Like a themed restaurant. Yeah. Just yeah. how Universal did it. Yeah. A but boba gum. Please. I will eat there. <laughs> I'm so done with you right now. <laughs> you're fine. Oh, uh, you're fine. Um uh but yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they they introduced a lot of things in both uh like in Mando. We'll 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 step into Mando. We'll talk we'll dive into that after, but a quick note is like when uh, Dr. Pershing is like hanging out with the other um, ex Imperials or whatever, mm-hmm. and they're like, "You want a drink?" And they like had those like stacking cups of yeah. spotchka, I'm guessing, or milk. I don't know. Yeah, um, some type they, of they, alcohol. They were introducing a lot of like new little foods and and drinks and stuff like yeah. that that I think could be really cool. Instead of a hot dog wrapped in pita bread <laughs> uh, to have in um, <laughs> Galaxy's Edge, you know what I mean? What about the yellow biscuits? <laughs> Those also looked great. They, you know what they looked like? Those like uh, the, the shortbread and the little oh. little little tin cans that you know our moms used to hide their, their oh, so paraphernalia. Yeah. Um, Did you say per- paraphernalia? Yeah, <laughs> they're sewing buttons. materials. <laughs> yeah, um, but so yeah, that that's what they looked like. They tasted like you oh, know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's what they're oh, called, right? Shortbread. Like butter cookies yeah. or something. Yeah, butter Isn't cookies. It? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. yeah. yeah. Christmas cookies. So if they start, and they do sell those in yeah. Disneyland, but like goofy ones, or oh, something so they like could like make Mickey them. ones. So they yeah. could totally make that, but just yeah, the Imperial ones. They should do it. They should do it. There's like so many things they could do that I know that they're not gonna. <laughs> that I hope I'm wrong. I, I mean, hope I'm wrong. they'll do like uh, cooking videos on like the Star Wars Instagram. They made the do, but the like pop I just want to give them my money, you know. You're like I don't want to cook it. I want you to cook it. You fucking cook it, and I'll buy it. And that's <laughs> kind of the deal. <laughs> I got money. Let me throw it. <laughs> Literally, like that—that's my biggest fucking complaint. Everyone's like, "Oh, you're so like." If I say anything yeah. ever, like they yeah. think I'm trying to be a dick. Like, no, 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 like, no. I I want to buy it. You don't get it. <laughs> I fucking love it. Yeah. Like, I want more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Give it to me. Uh, but yeah, um, it's cool. It's cool to see those little things. Yeah, you know, and especially like this new planet. This and new... it makes it feel real. It makes That's it feel one very of the real. things that makes Star Wars so expansive. Is like yeah. we're still after forty plus years, we're still going to new planets. Yeah. We're still seeing new aliens. We're still seeing new yeah. food, new culture. And I think you, you know. were making a point of I don't think we've seen like a coastal planet like that no like we see the like the port um like the seaport uh that we see in mando season two where he takes frog lady but Mm -hmm. i think that was just like a like a like a station not like it wasn't land no it wasn't like an island no it wasn't and so, even if it was, they didn't show it. The they just showed the dog. The only other I can think of being a fake fan is the Rogue One scene. Yeah, the Scarif. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We like, see that's kind of, but it's. But we a, see the it's beach. It's a military base, though. Yeah, we it's see not the like beach. It's not like. Where people live. Yeah. 
This is like a civilization built into the side of a volcano. That kind of. Yeah. yeah. I, I realized that it was a very like. It was. It's like Pompeii. It just instead mm -hmm. of a volcano, yeah. it was a tsunami. Yeah. Oh. I had a feel when when the earthquake started. I thought it was going to be a volcano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought like lava was going to shoot out of the top of that arc thing. No, I, I, <laughs> I kind of immediately was like, oh, this is like. Well, I, as soon as they're I like, was the empire will never find us. Yeah, I was like, like, they're all going to die. Like yeah. I don't know how. <laughs> Damn, Just shark. the foreshadowing. Written I mean, and directed by. Tr <laughs> luckily everyone was okay also i'm i'm glad everyone's okay but how realistic is it that everyone was okay no the people definitely died you know but just yeah. the the but, ones we but could the, see. like the the mayor or oh. whatever was like everyone's fine oh yeah they, oh, everyone well. made it at least that's good or something yeah yeah well i they were let's prepared, go with that I guess. let's let's go politicians with that. lie yeah, politicians. <laughs> yeah. it's like Dead. half of them let still me keep there. my numbers up <laughs> yeah serious um that was cool though and like i loved all the parallels between uh um temple of doom yes or uh it's not just temple of doom so i'll just say indiana jones yeah like them having dinner there with like at his home and the architect like the way that his home was laid out like the layout of it and everything the design it was literally that scene where um uh, I'm going to say, I was going to say Han. Indiana Jones <laughs> and like Marion are, when, when they're uh, eating with their friend, I forget his name. Uh, I think they're in Morocco mm -hmm. and like the monkey's there. Yeah. And uh, it's like when, when they try to kill Indy, like by poisoning him and shit uh, with like the dates or whatever. Uh, that's, it was literally that yeah. setting that and cool. like the monkeys that ran in. I'm like, that that's, that's the monkey from, yeah. you know, except there's three <laughs> and they're green. Yeah. Uh, so that was really cool. And then Fee is, I don't think anyone has noticed it. I don't know if maybe by now they have, but I pointed it out. I tweeted about it. She's literally wearing the same blouse as Marion. Yeah. It's just, you know, obviously very different because one is Star Wars, one is yeah. Earth in the 40s. But it's like a white blouse with red stitching. Yeah, yeah. and it's like the stitching is like the same shape, shape, yeah, yeah. the same design. No, it was that really was cool. cool. So I've, lo I've been loving uh, all of those little nods to Indiana Jones and to, yeah. like, you know, these little things that, that it's been it's been present throughout the entire season. Yeah. Uh, which, you know, I'm, I fucking love Indiana Jones. So, yeah, me too. So seeing that in star wars like it's awesome it's yeah. really really cool um but uh yeah and then the way the episode starts was also a huge nod to uh temple of doom where mm -hmm. they're at club obi-wan yeah but that instead, was so cool that was really really cool because in in the indie movie it's called club obi-wan and now the club in this was named after the character that they're there to meet in the indiana jones movie i forget Mm -hmm. but uh ryan airy from screen crush he pointed that out yeah because uh, he translated the arabesh on the sign That's outside so of the cool. club and it's like club um it was this is the name of the guy so -and -so. yeah and then it's literally that scene of them exchanging the um uh, the artifact. artifact for payment and then they try to poison her like they poisoned indiana jones and like all hell breaks loose so but yeah was, was that worm the they released on, under the seat the same type of worms that were gonna kill uh padme yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. same exact one uh which was cool to see because yeah i don't know why but i never like growing growing up watching that movie all the fucking time and even now i never realized that their tail was like a how they would inject whatever poison right? mm. like the stinger yeah yeah i i don't know why i just never noticed that like, they're going to punch her in the face. I don't know. I was like, they're going to bite her. <laughs> I don't know. Like, strangle her. Uh, but I never saw, like, the fucking giant ass needle. Yeah. yeah. You know? Well, maybe that was their way of doing that. Like, yeah. Well, I rewatched the scene from episode two and they have it, but I just never, oh, okay. I never fucking put two and two together. Hmm. Um, but that was cool. Like, I, it was it was an awesome episode. I think I, I I really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. The setting was fun. The story was cool. You know, seeing yeah. like I said, natural disaster in Star Wars. That's awesome. Um, they they also I guess time takes 
Time has passed since the other episode because Sid's leaving messages of like, very <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, that's right. Because you're like you're ghosting me and I'm not liking it. She so, was yeah. not happy. She's not having it. I think uh, she's gonna rat them out to the end. She's gonna rat them out for sure. Um, but I think I have a feeling that based on how this last episode ended, we might have a time jump. Yeah. From now and the next episode, I think like, it's possible. They say that they're going to stay oh, and true. help rebuild the city. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what do you think about that? Because that's been kind of one of the main themes this season is yeah. them trying to kind of settle down, have some stability for Omega and like give her like a normal life, right? Like yeah. quote unquote normal life. But I like I understand why Hunter wants that for her. But it just doesn't feel like that, like, I just can't picture the Bad Batch just, like, Chill. being well, yeah, normal cause, guys. Because they really can't, in reality. Yeah. Their DNA to be, like, soldiers. And yeah, yeah and, like... Well, that's, I think that they're going to, I think that it's very possible that after this episode, the way it ended, we could have, like, a, let's say, five-year time jump. I'd say more like a year, not five. I don't know. Re- they're rebuilding a city, yes. Yeah. So I wouldn't say anything months related. But five, okay, I'll give you two years, maybe. Two, let's say three to five years. Oh. I don't, three to five years. It could be. I'm just saying, we could. Because I, unless Sid has a tracker on oh. their ship, which I doubt, because okay. she would have used it. To find their ship when they got it stolen. But she True. does know that they're working with that, with, what's the other girl's name? Uh, Fee. Fee. They know that she works with Fee, and that's Fee's home world. But she, oh. but Fee specifically took them there to hide from Sid. True, so if she, she knew oh. that Sid knew about that place, yeah, yeah, yeah. she wouldn't have taken them there. Oh, okay. Yeah. It, it sounds to me like that's the place she never tells anyone about. Because she doesn't want to. True, because okay. the mayor's daughter said, "Oh no, Omega o- said, uh, not even Sid. You have taken here." And she's like, "No." I know. Yeah. yeah. You see exactly. Okay. Um. So maybe they'll be safe here for a while. That's what I mean. That's it could be like a fucking say five year time jump, but I'll I'll go th- three years. I don't. If there's a time jump, I don't think it'll be less than three. I could be wrong, but I don't think it'll be less than three years yeah you know like to give omega time to be a child to grow up a little bit yeah you know and then once you know say after this time jump they get pulled back into all this bullshit because say the empire sh- does show up yeah. or sid finds them yeah. or you know she sends bounty hunters or someone's after them. in need. you know what oh who are we talking to to about this uh, about the possibility of Boba Fett, not Boba Fett, the possibility of another bounty hunter like Cad Bane mm. coming after them. Mm. Who, who, I, I remember, we were talking to someone about this. I can't remember. I don't who. remember that. I don't, I don't but, know all right, I'm sorry. That. If you're watching this and it was you, I, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I just don't remember. But I was talking to someone about this where they were saying they, they would love to see uh, Boba Fett return uh they not return they love to see boba fett and omega meet because technically oh. they're brother and sister yeah because they're the only two unaltered clones yeah you know what i mean like like base models mm-hmm. you know you know that's yeah they're, they're pretty much brother and sister so what they were what, what they were saying was what we could see is um Let's say Sid hires Cad Bane again mm-hmm. to track down Omega, or not just Omega, but the bat, the Bad Batch this time, right? Because they skipped out on her, yeah, and she lo- she's losing money, yeah. All um, she cares about is and, money, and you know the only way she's gonna make money is by, you know, ratting them out, handing them over to the Empire, and she's not gonna do it herself. So she sends Cad Bane, mm-hmm. uh, who I think an episode or two ago, remember how they. Uh, have this Kaminoan on a, on a base held up. Yeah. And then he, the general talks to another Kaminoan. Oh, yeah. He's like, like oh, find I, the girl. Know, yeah. 
Right, yeah. We're also that, that's another yeah, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I, even if it's not Sid sending Cad Bane, let's say it's either Sid or Lama Su who mm-hmm. they're like, find the girl or find the Bad Batch, whatever. Yeah. Cad Bane gets sent, right? He picks up their trail and like we, you know, how we remember that deleted scene that we never saw, that duel between Boba Fett and Cad Bane happens at some point we don't know if it did happen already or whatever mm. but what what i do remember is what we were saying that in the book of boba fett boba fett pretty much alludes to um or he he says something i, I just don't remember the line but he says like that cad bane trained him he's like you taught like uh you taught me well or some shit oh, like that you know okay. like that pretty much he says that Boba Fett le- learned from Cad Bane. So at some point in Boba Fett's life, Cad Bane is like a mentor to him, mm-hmm. right? He teaches him whatever. Yeah. So maybe this is during that time where Boba F- young Boba Fett is running around with Cad Bane and Cad Bane gets sent to track down the Bad Batch and Omega. Oh. And when they get there, Boba Fett sees or recognizes yeah. that that's, you know... Probably doesn't know that who Omega is, but yeah, like you like, know, they he fucking puts it together yeah. <laughs> or some shit, and maybe that's why they have their duel. Is because Boba protects her. He's like, no, let them go. That'd be crazy. You know, I'm just piecing shit together yeah. from like a bunch of shit that we've seen and have, but this is this could be, be way cool. off. Yeah. This could be way off. Um, no, but it, I think it makes sense. But, I don't think you're, like, reaching. No, I don't think I'm reaching either. I'm just... I like to put it out there because people are like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, <coughs> but, I mean, that's that could be something that, you know, after this time jump that yeah. we, we think could happen. Are they... Are Boba and Omega the same age or no? I think they are. Yeah. She. Yeah, I think so. Okay. I believe so. Okay. So that's what I mean is like there's already been a time jump between seasons one and two. There could be another significant time jump between this last episode and the next episode. And yeah. what takes them out of their, you know, reti- retirement is fucking Cad Bane or a bounty hunter comes looking for them or the Empire comes, yeah. you know, because of either Lama Su or Sid. Right. So either way, they got two people out looking for them. Yeah. Uh, so they're gonna get found. There's yeah, still three yeah. fucking episodes. So yeah, yeah a lot. Can we're happen. not gonna see them laying out on the beach. Yeah. With their chanclas. With a coconut. Yeah. And... With a coconut <laughs> and sushi. Um. Maybe maybe half the episode, but after that, I think it's gonna take a dark turn. Oh yeah yeah yeah. I think so too. Um. I'm an island boy. I'm an island. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, <laughs> as a rocker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He'd be uh, out there in his which, speedo. Which member of the group had left that Omega was all crushed about? Echo. Uh, Echo. It yeah. could be like Echo's Echo? in trouble, and they yeah to true help him. That, Very true. Yeah, that that would pull him out. That would pull him out. Pull him out for sure. And also, them leaving whatever's could be gonna with... happen with Crosshair. Yeah, exactly. Because Crosshair defected. Ooh. He's now a, well. A... Technically, he's still in custody. Yeah, but I mean, like, he's totally oh, yeah. gonna break out. He's gonna right? get out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, especially if there's a time jump. Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. We could see, you know, like, all these people could be looking for them. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of people looking for the Somebody. Bench. Out of all those people, one of them will find them. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I, there's a lot, there's a lot that could be coming next. I mean, we have no idea. Anything could happen. Um, but it all seems pretty fucking cool. And even if our theories, again, even if our theories do not happen, which we have a pretty good track record. Do. Um, mm-hmm. You know, I'll be fucking excited. Yeah. You know, it's going to be awesome. That's all I know. It's, it's going to be really good. But um, do you have anything else to add to mm-hmm. Bad Batch? Um, anything else that stood out? Not really. No? Like, no. it was a solid episode. It was a solid it wasn't episode. wasn't anything too crazy. Nothing, yeah, nothing too crazy, but it was fun. It was really... I, I, I loved the the world building yeah. in this episode. It was really yeah. good. I, I think my favorite part, honestly. I agree. I but, think it's more of like a much-needed break for them, writers or whatever, because the last two... The two previous episodes were just bangers. Now they need to just wind it back again. So this was yeah. like they yeah. wind up again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they're going to probably hit hard for the next 
three or probably the last two episodes is going to be a part one, part two. Yeah. Yeah, probably. True. 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 All right. Well, uh, again, Bad Batch was amazing. Uh, I can't wait for next episode. We'll see what happens. Uh, and then fucking Mando. Yeah. Mando was amazing. Yeah. A, a, an hour long episode. That was crazy. I was not expecting that. <laughs> no. Uh, we start off and we're still in the mines. Mm-hmm. We're still by the living waters. Um, and it takes me completely by surprise to get these vibes from, from, uh, from Bo-Katan of, oh, yeah. of not telling him what she saw. Yeah. That was what's in there. Cause I don't think it was like a, I'm not telling you to protect you. It nah. was like, I'm I can coming, use this. I'm coming back for that. I can use this. <laughs> exactly. Cause she's going to, she's. She's probably thinking, well, he has the dark saber, but I'm gonna have a mythosaur. <laughs> probably. I mean, uh, I'm gonna roast her. Where's she gonna keep it at? Ooh. ooh. <laughs> that Too, was soon, Too soon, my guy. <laughs> Too soon. In her bro. ship. <laughs> Too soon. On her ship. On her just, ship. Just like strap him up there. Yeah. No, no, yeah. So that that definitely gave me some sus vibes. Yeah. Um. It's mm-hmm. just, it seems like Bo's at that point where she can go either way. She's definitely and, always been in that point. Though, yeah. You know? And. Is she like an anti-hero role? Like she, yeah. She's yeah. Rogue, right? Like she good intentions. Code. Good intentions. Mm. But makes the wrong choices. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Like, you know. She says she's doing it for family. She says she's doing it for honor. She says she's doing it for Mandalore. But her choices reflect I'm most proud. of the time that she's just being selfish. Yeah. And she wants, yeah. like, the power and the control. Um, yeah. So I, I I love her character. I think she makes a very interesting, like, foil, you know, to the other characters. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I don't know. Like, she, she seems like she's acting too nice. That's the vibe I'm getting because before she was always like talking shit like straight to Boba Fett's face. Yeah, like who like the fuck who you? else talks shit to Boba Fett? Yeah, <laughs> you know, Bo Katan. That's Bo-K- what. like only Bo. Only Bo. Din's like, I'll do whatever you want. Bo's like, you a little bitch. Yeah, literally. Seen you, seen your face a thousand times. I heard your voice a thousand times. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, just. She, it looks like she is trying to, like, she knows this is her last chance. Yeah. She knows this is her last chance. She's playing whatever angle she can and multiple angles if possible. But I think the feeling I'm getting is, like, they want us to think that she's going to betray Din. But I think it's going to be that, like, like i wanted to betray you but in the very end i couldn't because i care about you true yeah like about din or about about grogu because the way i don't know the way i'm seeing it is it's feeling like it's gonna be you either get your revenge or you do what's best for mandalore yeah yeah and well she's what were her purest intentions restoring mandalore Mm -hmm. but after what they just did of blowing up her house, like for no reason, not for no reason, but like they were being petty. Yeah. That was like petty. they were just they being dicks. They, they didn't, didn't need to do, do that. that. That's all she has left of her family. Yeah. Like that's her ancestral home. Yeah. Hey, and they just I, lit it up. Quick side note that her fuck, that castle took it like a fucking champ. It did. <laughs> it was still standing. Yeah, it it wasn't just had like, like dust. holes in it. It like, wasn't it was, dust. It was like, yeah. There was just like parts missing, but that's it. <laughs> like, yeah. like No, but like, see, that's where the thing where it's like she can go either way is like, but now that has brought back that emotional, vengeful, selfish. It's it's bringing like up a lot of her, shit, yeah. right? Huh? The inner rage. Like, yeah. 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 It's bringing back a lot of trauma. So. Yeah. So. I but know. I mean. She could go either way. She could know. go either way because it's also. It was like. 
so they make it back to the um by the way they do make a fucking awesome team oh my god that, that was so fight, cool. dog fight the dog fight oh, yeah. was amazing Dude. It was a beautiful, fucking amazing. Um, seeing the N one kick, fucking ass. Yeah, yeah. that was so cool. Like his fucking like death spiral. Din was all out of <laughs> bubble gum, if, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it fucking he he yeah. flew circles around them, kicked ass. I, I felt like I was watching like Maverick, even the new one. Yeah. I th- that's what I literally that's told her. I'm pretty sure he like... pulled. He didn't. Yeah. Isn't that Maverick's move uh, that, that, at the Bo, end? Bo did the whole full on breaks to do a uh, like a 180 out of nowhere and then just shoot. That's yeah, like that, on the new movie, on uh, the Maverick. But I mean, uh, in the original yeah. Top Gun, that's isn't true. that when he flies up and then turns yeah, back around and that's heads? The, yeah. That's the Maverick, right? Yeah, I think <laughs> I, I haven't like seen the movie in a while. But that's, yeah. I immediately thought of that. I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's his move. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that that was amazing. Yeah. That was so fucking cool. And yeah, Bo pulled off that sick ass move too. <laughs> the poor the baby. I thought he was going to throw up. <laughs> what do you mean the baby? He was fine in his pram. R5 was, was like, getting Ooh. thrown around. <laughs> Like, yeah. oh, you do, do, do. Wait, how? I can uh, do, do. <laughs> make, make that a, a sound. Uh, <laughs> he was he bouncing like, off the walls. Do, do, do. <laughs> <laughs> he did, he like did not. No, yeah, he was know. not strapped in. He was not gravity locked. <laughs> he he, he didn't just, magnetize. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't ready. <laughs> Hold on, let me put my seatbelt on. Porque no visas. Yeah. No, no, it was good. It was uh, that was really fucking cool. Um, t- seeing Tie Fighters. Anytime we see Tie Fighters, it's amazing. Okay, yeah. here's the thing. Here's the fucking thing. Uh, this is where it gets crazy. Here's where, yeah, where it gets crazy. There were like, let's say, at at the beginning, how many interceptors? Like six, seven. At the beginning, three, and then it turned into a group of freaking twenty. I radar? think it was yeah. I think it was like three. Three yeah. at the beginning. Yeah. yeah. Oh. oh well, yeah, six. Like a three, handful. Three in the dogfight, and then three of the bombers that fucked up her because obviously they took yeah. care of the first three. Then three bombers yeeted the castle. Anyway. And then there was a bunch more. Yeah. The point I'm making is, Tie fighters don't have hyperdrives. But they were interceptors. Tie interceptors don't have oh, yeah. hyperdrives. If you could tell, they also don't have shields. So why would they have hyperdrives? Mm. And th- what I mean, what I'm getting at is there's no way they got there without a Star Destroyer. Did you oh, see a Star Destroyer? Fuck. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, I, there was no Star Destroyer. No. And it was it's either they should have they should have been brought there by a Star Destroyer. Or there's a base on the planet that fucking Bo Katan is from, and she didn't know of, which is less likely. Yeah. Yeah. So there has to have been a star destroyer. Okay. Either in orbit. No question though. Yeah. Uh, On episode three, uh, Friends of the Sith, you know how uh, Obi Wan uses that one ring to. Yes, but they don't have that. They don't have that. No, not for Tie Fighters. Um, because first of all, it would be so much money to make one for every Tie Fighter. So, and and the whole point of Tie Fighters is to swarm your enemy. Like it's it's like yeah yeah exactly. It's like it's not we have three amazing pilots. It's we have twenty. They're bait. Okay, pilots. <laughs> you have yeah. a bunch of fins in it. You know, it's it's you strength they, in numbers. The whole point was to overwhelm. Yeah. And, it, and intimidate. And intimidate. Because you don't know how good those pilots are, right? But you're still going to shit your pants if yeah, you see yeah. 20 TIE fighters. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. You're not... You're not like, oh, they're probably newbies. Like, you're probably just joined. Yeah, no. Before I noticed they were Unless like... you're Vader, but they, they're not <laughs> Vader. <laughs> yeah. Before I noticed they were like... Or they even mentioned they were interceptors. I thought it was going to be like the pirates again. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. True. I, I think we'll see them again. We, we will but, see them again, but, yeah. but in... For th- for this situation, those were like full on imperial remnants, mm. like yeah. of the highest caliber. Because if you see the stripes on the Tie pilot's helmet, I'm pretty sure those are, those are like special forces. 
No, Special Forces has red, but the silver is like still like pretty. High I think he's up. just yeah, they're 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 high up. Like they're good pilots. Okay. Like it wasn't like randos. You know, randos. It was Okay. So what I'm saying is I think we're gonna see Thrawn. Yeah. I think that was not just any because like look move? in the yes because Thrawn does not reveal himself he does not reveal his hand like this yeah. that those Tie game. Fighters were sent to test them to see how they'd re- respond to see how they'd react to see their strategies to see their moves you did not we did not see a Star Destroyer not on purpose yeah if well, it was any other if it was any other warlord. Like Imperial Warlord yeah, or any ego. other Imperial officer, they would have said, No, pull up our Star Destroyer right above them mm-hmm. so they know who they're fucking with. Yeah. And true. then we deploy all of our TIE fighters. Yeah. No, no, no. Thrawn, if this is Thrawn, he said, Send out a handful of fighters, of interceptors, because they're elite fighters. We don't need that many. We can spare, say, three or four. Which they did. Rough. And then while they lured Bo yeah, away it was a trap. and in, they blew up her fucking house. And then they knew they were going to follow the... the, the uh, bombers. The bombers. And as soon as the bombers came, that's when the full force came. Not even the full yeah. force. It was yeah, like... It's just like, te- round like one. Yeah, round one. <laughs> yeah. But then they decided to jump to hyperspace. Skedaddle. But I guarantee you... That thou and because and in this in that scene, Bo says, Bo says something like, "This is this force is too great for just any uh, imperial warlord." Yeah. So if They're, that is like yeah. impressive to them, they've dealt with Gideon, which was like you a know big problem, a big problem. Yeah. Who's the next biggest fucking problem that's coming <laughs> in the next uh, Star Wars series series, which is Ahsoka? That comes right after Mando. Yeah. Ooh. Fucking Thrawn. They're setting up They're Thrawn. setting up Thrawn. That's like, exactly what this episode was who for. Who else? Exactly. And yeah. then moving on to the uh, the storyline with Dr. Pershing. And, oh, yeah. Um, that was fucking sad. That was depressing. It's super fucking fuck. depressing. And I'll, I'll jump yeah. to the end because yeah. it's connected. Who do we think is fucking... Who do we think sh- that that officer is doing the dirty work for? If not Thrawn. Yeah. She's, she she's did all to, of that for what? Um, she's, you know? Yeah. She ha- He has her on the inside mm-hmm. because there's all these snitches doing work for the New Republic yeah. that Thrawn would rather sacrifice yeah. and kill. He wants them all dead. He doesn't want any, any loose ends. No, no loose ends. And they literally said that. Yeah. Like when they got there, like if this was reversed, uh, we would have no. been shot in the back. Well, of the head. in 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 season two, what uh, remember when Bo and Din and Casca and uh, Axe, I the forget guy. His name. the guy, the guy Mando, when yeah, they when they Axe. take over uh, that like imperial ship, when they like clear it out and then they steal it, that uh, the imperial officer there calls or like you know, yeah, he calls Gideon and he's like. So they took the entire ship except the bridge. He's like, yes. Well, uh, yeah, we're not going to help you. You know what to do. Yeah. Hit and the big like, red button. fucking <laughs> dive yeah. and kill yourself. That's what he was saying. <laughs> like, yeah. So that's how the Empire works. Yeah. So she's she's not just doing that out of, you know, her lo- loyalty to the Emperor. There's someone she's answering to. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. This isn't like, no. No, no, no. This She's answering to someone. Part of a much bigger that scheme. someone is Thrawn. Yeah, or Thrawn's bitches. Or Thrawn's bitches, but <laughs> but connected under the like they those people are answering to Thrawn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The conniving Smurf. <laughs> <laughs> Smurf man. Uh, no, it's I. I thought we would see the Chimera, but now that I'm thinking about it, it's such a Thrawn fucking move. To not even show oh, he's up. saving it. To not even show up. He he had to have been like out in orbit or something. But yeah, he's nearby. Hiding. He was nearby. Yeah. For sure. He just sent a handful of TIE fighters or interceptors, whatever. Handful of interceptors, handful of bombers to 
test them because he knows who he's fucking with. He's like, that's who took down. He's Gideon. like, how do I, how do I make Bo, um, not on edge, but like get her off her a game, right? Yeah. He knows that it's her family. Yeah. He yeah. knows that that's the button to push. Yeah. And so he blows up her house. And Bo, okay, but. Also, I don't think he's after Bo. Bo did not take down Gideon. Mm-hmm. Din took care of Gideon. Hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, I'm sure Din's, you know, the legend of Din Djarin is starting to spread throughout the galaxy. Yeah. It's definitely reached Thrawn. Yeah. Like, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Because it's like, okay, well, how do we... How does the New Republic have Gideon in custody? What happened? Yeah, like... <laughs> well, this fucking Mandalorian with the Darksaber <laughs> and a the little The one that we've frog. been talking about for thousands of years. Exactly. Would come back and restore Mandalore. <coughs> yeah. Well, yeah. so he's like, okay, well, this is my new enemy. I need to see what he's capable of. Yeah. So he watched him fucking jump out of Bo's ship. Yeah. Dodge fucking four tie interceptors land get in his ship yeah. take yeah. off and yeah. take down yeah. however many interceptors there were then they took down the bombers you know what i mean like he yeah. watched all of it he sees, like he's watching yeah someone's watching if it's not thrown someone's fucking watching You're that's watching. that was not just random tie fighters no it's thrown yeah it's fucking 100 percent thrown because like even if it was remnants like hypothetically say it was like just a random squadron that lost their general and they're just wreaking havoc wreaking havoc like why would they fuck with bo-katan no yeah no like if they're gonna fuck with someone they're gonna go to like some planet that yeah, doesn't some... have hyperspace technology and just like fuck with You'd them be like oh we rule here now yeah we yeah. are gods we're gods <laughs> like they wouldn't exactly they wouldn't at someone who would no. take him out in a second? No, 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 no. They, they were wouldn't. like, Thrawn was like, okay, so you guys are going on this mission, and they were like, what, what, who, what, who? Like Din and Bo, you'll be fine. And they were like, uh, kick, <laughs> like they were shitting their pants. I bet, yeah. yeah. Like the rumors, like people have to know. Yeah. Even if they don't know about Din, they know about Bo. Yeah. So, like, e you know, either way, like, they know. They do. They, they know, do. and Thrawn knows that this is an actual threat to what he's trying to do. Because if it wasn't a threat to him, he he wouldn't waste his time. No, he wouldn't. He doesn't do anything out of, like, he wouldn't waste resources. He wouldn't no. waste Especially his time. when he doesn't have the full backing of the Empire exactly. now. Because it doesn't exist. Yeah. So he's... He He's got to play a very tight game. No, no, no. And Thrawn knows yeah. when to sacrifice a pawn. And that's exactly what that was. Yeah. That's exactly what that was. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So I, the only thing that surprised me from this episode, you know, regarding Din and Bo, is they didn't even question where they came from or what was up with all those TIE fighters. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm sure they will like in when the they next got episode. To the covert? Yeah, they didn't like. They weren't like, "What the fuck was that?" You know, like. Yeah, they're just like, <laughs> they "Oh, just you're like, back well, from the waters." Okay, can we talk about how she was like, indoc indoctrinated into? Oh yeah, yeah. she's yeah. a part of the into the way. <laughs> the way now. <laughs> that was so funny. Like, she's like, "Oh no, no, I." I she's like, "I'm good." No, 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 I'm good. Thank I you. I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm not. Well, she's alone. She's 100 percent alone. Like she's not even part of her clan now because yeah. they left without her. You know, so I guess she's like, well, my home is destroyed. Yeah, everyone what else left is she gonna me. Do? I guess I'll keep my helmet on. Yeah. You know, so I don't know. I I think that's that was very interesting. I didn't think she'd be like, sure, but she gave. Din such a hard time. Yeah. And then Bo, she's like, yeah, if you want to just like yeah. hang out here, you can sleep well, on our couch. Well, because she's also, she did redeem herself. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So it's valid. It's it's valid. Yeah. It's just funny how hard Din worked and like Bo didn't even want it. Yeah. But she got it too. Well, you know, 
It's it definitely. is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> In more depressing aspects of the episode. Yeah. Do that. Yeah. No, the other storyline. Yeah. Line, Dr. Pershing. Jesus. Sad as hell. I. Fuck that bitch. She played him. So, she did okay. him so okay. wrong. All I'm going to so say. So dirty. All I'm going to say is for a. Like. One in a million genius scientist. That guy was a fucking idiot. Jesus. Like, it was too good to be true from fucking, from the get-go. Like, as soon as he started talking to her. Yeah. Okay, think about it this way. I agree. Come think on. about it this way. Think about it. This guy is in the amnesty program, right? Yeah. Who, who knows how long he's been there? Because yeah. apparently there has been a time jump between seasons two and three right yeah okay considerable time jump okay um these fucking things are like tickling my ears (laughs) um there's been a time jump so this whole time like we in this episode we see him make friends yeah his first friends in how long yeah so for x amount of time all he's been doing every day is being alone no not experimenting because he can't work on his shit yeah so he's been alone this whole time talking to a therapy droid that puts up the same survey every time every time he's yeah yeah. so so the way i saw it was like this guy's lonely he hasn't like first of all he also even when he was with the empire he didn't want to be with the empire yeah. Like, he didn't want to be doing what he was doing. Like, he was doing it against his will. Yeah. So, and he was, like, a very nice guy. Yeah. You know, even when he was with the Empire. And every time we see him in, like, seasons one and two, like, in season one, he's like, don't hurt the baby. Like, like he, he like, with Din, he's like, oh, please, like, don't hurt the baby. Like, yeah. Uh, you know, so he's like, he's a good guy. Yeah. With hanging around the wrong people. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but he's what I'm trying to. The point I'm trying to make is he's like a good guy. He seems like a very like innocent dude, like naive, like naive. Yeah, yeah. like uh, like like he's very smart, but like does not take those hints. Like he does not pick up on shit. Yeah, you know what I mean. And that's exactly what I saw in this episode. Yeah, you know he's yeah. like he's he did not like he's he's hoping that wow finally I have a friend and it's someone from my past that. True. you know that gets me that yeah. gets me yeah, yeah. And, and 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 he didn't expect i don't know i just that. feel like that's a lesson you learn when you're 15 not like 30 but yeah maybe he never learned that lesson True. what i mean i guess not i mean it just felt like it was like hey like we're not gonna go to school today we're gonna go to the mall yeah, yeah, yeah. and then once we get to the mall i'm gonna tell you to steal something from hot topic yeah, yeah, yeah. and then after we steal something we're going to get arrested by the mall cop and I'm going to blame it all on you. And guess what happened? That's exactly Bam. what happened. That's exactly what happened. What and she though? fried his brain. Yeah, that was that <laughs> was crazy. I was not it expecting was really that. Crazy. It when was really crazy. The scientist, when we first get introduced back again to the scientist, he's giving a speech like in hologram form, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. But he did a really weird, awkward pause and yeah, with his ear. Piece, who you think he's getting a feed? Well, he did it again later in the episode, uh-huh. and it was when he was getting like nervous, hmm. or like when he was like thinking about. I think that's like his tell, or like he, oh. like he's like nervous. Like I don't think there was anything like he was because that's what I thought first yeah, too. Like, like, but then he did it again nervous. when when did he do it? When he lies. When um, yeah, that's like when he was like oh when when he was at the with the therapy droid. Mm-hmm. And he and she was like, oh, yeah. "Have you ever felt any anger or frustration towards the New Republic?" And he was and he like hesitated, paused, and then he like did that That's again. Right. And then, like, it's when he's like, I mean, he's yeah. lying. It's not, I don't think he's a hearing aid. Okay, well then, actually, then we need to pay attention to when he to does when that he in his speech it. because th- he did yeah. that when he was lying. Yeah. Shit. All right, let me pull it up. <laughs> uh, because yeah, then then that means he was lying. About something. Uh, but what's also so sad, I'm going to skip to the end again, when he's getting his memory wiped. It, did I catch it correctly? 
when the betrayal chick was talking to the other general betrayal chick <laughs> yeah uh, it sounded to me like this isn't the the first time they do this to him to who to who to, to the scientist like he she said something about he relapsed Oh, no, no, no. She's just... Because she, oh, okay. she's been around other people oh, okay. in the I program. Like, imagine if they're, like, also testing... I mean, because the Empire the Republic is reforming again, right? Yeah. What yeah. If they're using him as a guinea pig of, like, ah, oh, he relapsed back to his old self, trying to be all goody two-shoes, wipe him, and then goes back through the cycle again. Oh, I get... Like, I think it yeah. was that. It's, it could be, oh. That means it makes the episode even sadder. If that's the case... Then that's crazy. But I don't think so. Because then she would have just f- fried his brain the first time it happened. I think that dialogue is like a minute. Also try to pull it up. All right. Or well, we'll pull it up. Here. You don't need to put it on the screen because yeah. it, won't, it yeah. won't record it. But just so we can listen. Oh, okay. Yeah. Knowledge is the most... Oh, here. I believe the pursuit of knowledge is the most noble thing someone can do. Sadly, my I research was see. twisted into something cruel and inhumane at the behest of a desperate individual intent on using cloning technology to secure more power for himself. But despite the shameful work of my past, I now hope to help the new republic in whatever way I can. Oh, I remember when he pauses. Though that work he is pauses now behind- before he starts talking about his mother. It's like, it's as if someone in his ear said, you're losing them, my guy. Like, make it emotional. Mm. I lost my mom. Like, as an excuse for his research. Yeah. Like, cause he yeah, talks right. the whole time. Yeah, like, maybe. Sorry, I did a bunch of bad shit, but it had a good intent, I swear. And it's like the earpiece said, "Bruh, that sounds like an excuse." They're yeah. Not biting it, and they're, they're not buying it. They're not buying it. So, so they're like, "My mom died in my arms." Like, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, we can't watch it right now because Disney Plus yeah. doesn't let me. But, um. But, but we'll yeah, have to dissect we'll it. Out. That part. Yeah, we'll we'll figure it out. Um. But yeah, I mean. Who knows? I'm, I'm sure there's a lot more to dissect. There. Yeah, there's a lot going on that we, as an audience, are unaware of. Of course, currently. 100%. Yeah. And, um, but my God, that was, that was, I, I loved, again, the world building in this yes. episode yeah. was incredible. I mean, we always talk about how if we could go anywhere in the Star Wars galaxy, it would be Coruscant. Yeah. Because not only, like, yes, it's a fucking planet-sized city, yeah. but exactly, you know, like <laughs> think about yeah. the mu- and the, and they name drop the Galactic Museum in yes, this episode. Yes, that made me so which happy. Fucking and pins are cannon. Pins are cannon. Pins are cannon. Oh, cannon. cannon. He was like, oh, yeah, 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 what gave yeah. me away? He's yeah. like, oh, the pin's oh, the pretty pin. obvious. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So pins are cannon. And the botanical garden, right? Yeah, the the <laughs> the droid was telling him all about like places he could visit. Yeah, he's like, "Can you just shut up and take me?" Yeah. To and then <laughs> Galactic Museum, which was the theme of our original Patreon uh, pin club. Yep, where you would get an artifact every month mm-hmm. uh, from the from a galaxy far, far away. Anyway, <laughs> uh, but that's old. Uh, hopefully, one day we'll bring it back. That was really I loved fun. it. That but was really really fun. Yeah, but yeah, it was a lot of work. Yeah. Um, but yeah, anyway, so yeah, they name dropped the Galactic Museum. So precisely because of that, like that's why we would visit Coruscant because we could go to the Galactic Museum. What well, imagine the shit that's in there? Yeah. We could go to like there's the 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 Jedi Temple, the, the opera the, house, the opera house, the 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 council or sorry, the Senate building. Like mm-hmm. there's so many things that you could go like there's so much history. Dex's diner. Dex's diner. Hello. Like oh, an shit. establishment of Coruscant. Yeah. You know? uh, <laughs> but exactly, like there's so much history in Coruscant that I would love to like we could fucking spend our whole life there and we, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, the the world building in this episode was amazing. Seeing that square uh, where like it was like the little carnival. That was so cute. That was amazing to watch. That I mean, felt very George Lucas to me. Yeah, same. Like it was silly, it was fun, but it, I don't know, it was like that whimsy that George yeah. always brought to Star Wars. Mm-hmm. I thought it was like really cute. And I loved how they had, it was literally like my brain could not process what it was at first, but they had like the oh, yeah. peak of the tallest mountain in the world on yeah 
was the like base level of their of yeah, their 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 uh, ground level. Their ground level. It was yeah. like insane. It's like it's awesome. like if we built cities on top of cities on top of cities on top of cities yeah. all the way up to the Everest, peak especially. of Everest. Yeah. Yeah. And it was just like poking out. And a you can just hole. like and take a little selfie with it. Yeah. yeah. That was awesome. That was really so that cool. was that was such a cool like see that's exactly why these shows are fucking hitting different. Yeah. Because they're paying attention to little tiny things like that. Like what an insignificant like moment. Yeah. That it's a adds rock. <laughs> so fucking much. Yeah. To it's the not just the a lore. <laughs> it's, it's a, a rock. rock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we're on the same page. Um the pioneers but, you know, used like, to ride these babies for miles. <laughs> slap. Um but you know, like that, it adds so much to the to the 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 galaxy, to the yeah. world that is Star Wars. That yeah. the, you know, this original, you know, it adds so much, and that is ex- that's exactly what separates Star Wars from everything else is the attention to detail. Yeah, the little moments like the that. Connective that tissue. Like, exactly. Like it, it's it's not just surface level. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's uh, it's got so many layers just like chorus Khan. Yeah. yeah there we go beautiful poetic beautiful mic drop <laughs> um but also the acting on the chick that betrayed him what's her name because i keep i'll keep referencing uh, i don't know but you probably shouldn't order. keep saying chick because that's a little disrespectful man um, um, <laughs> ex imperial i don't know she said she, oh, she has a title though she said I honestly, f- I forgot. I don't remember. Because you know, they're like, oh, me. Uh, letter dash number scientist. Oh, she yeah, yeah. Else. Fucking M13. Let's communications go officer. <laughs> the communications but, officer. The saying, traitor. I don't know. Like The traitor, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, like, she was, she sold the, 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 the nice persona really well. Like, yeah. doing that little, like, uh. Oh, touch it! You know, like, like that yeah. metal quirky, happen. like fun. Yeah, prank. I was like, damn. Yeah, yeah. she really like I, buttered him up. I mean, yeah, we knew it was sus from the beginning. Yeah. yeah, but I was like waiting for the other shoe to drop. I was like, it could be real, yeah. but I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, yeah. even if it was genuine, it was like she's she's forcing his hand repeatedly to do something he's not comfortable yeah, doing true. Question. that's not a friend you know yeah. like yeah. question also where they went into the star destroyer is that is that like a junkyard yeah they're decommissioning yeah. Yeah, all of them gave me jedi um uh, fall in order, order yeah because yeah. that's where yeah uh, well Kale worked well that's One literally them. where um i don't know if it was this season of bad batch or uh, season two, but when they break in to that same shipyard where they're breaking down the Venator class star destroyers mm-hmm. to uh, with Rex, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Was that this season? It was this season, right? I think it was the beginning of this season. Yeah. So, yeah, it, it's that same place, mm-hmm. except instead of Venators, they're dismantling Imperial star destroyers, which was cool. Yeah. Um, I, I liked how, like, we're finally getting the new republic oh yeah like yes that's a huge deal yeah to finally see that and i loved how it was very subtle but they're showing like like with the the data entry that he's doing like it's a very like like it's way below his pay grade, right? Oh, he's yeah. like this genius scientist and he's just like answering emails, right? Or he's entering so data. Entering data. Yeah. yeah, like entering data and he's like, yeah. hey, like I can reprogram this. Like it'll take me five minutes, but we can like reuse this, yeah, this stuff. Yeah, we don't need to destroy it. Like we don't need to destroy it. Like that's wasteful. And the guy was like, please, like we are already so behind. Like I have my managers on my ass. Like just, just delete it and throw it in the trash. And I think I loved that because it seems so small, but that's that's how the entire New Republic is operating. They are they have twenty years worth of things to undo. Yeah. 
mm-hmm. hide <laughs> and get rid of and transition yeah. all while maintaining the appearance of having all their shit together because the last oh, okay. thing a society needs when the government changes oh, is people thinking that the government doesn't know what the fuck they're doing. Exactly. It all falls apart. The people yeah. have to buy into the government. Like the people are the government. Yeah. So if the people don't believe in it, it's not going to work. Here's here's what I find a little annoying too though about that part is cuz he says in that in that uh, scene he's like the the we're already like the new republic is already way too busy dismantling the alliance fleet it's like why yeah. why did they do that why did they do that that is that one, was very that is naive. one of my biggest <laughs> biggest issues yeah. with okay this... but but that's not that's not the Mandalorian. It's not fault. the Mandal- I know. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not saying. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just. I'm not trying to point yeah, fingers. Yeah, call them out. But if you'd like to, we can. We just have to explain how they had no military. Yeah. Um, Even though Luke Skywalker was. Yeah, it's fine. It's just don't. Just don't think about it. It'll go away if you don't think about it. <laughs> Uh, he, he we're on yeah, thin ice. He did the um, not my problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, well, I mean, general. I just, Leia I just think it's very dumb that that was the route that they decided to go with with uh, the New Republic. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Unfortunately, you know, in a utopia, right? Oh, well, if there's no war, then we don't need a military. But that's not how it oh, works shit. when there's thousands mm-hmm. of, of systems. systems. Yep. yep. Thousands and of each cultures. each system has like eight planets. Yeah. <laughs> when each it's planet just, it's has just its own not, civilization. It's just not. Yeah. It doesn't even work on Earth. How would it work with <laughs> thousands of systems? Yeah. Uh, like you said. We need an answer for how the First Order got away yeah. with all this. So, there it is. Anyway, uh, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, uh, that's that, that's pretty much, like, my only... I'm like, oh, why did but, they do that? I yeah. mean, story-wise. Story-wise, story wise, like, they have to... They have to do it. But, um, um but, it was a really good episode. Yeah, yeah. Really good. Yeah. I feel like... The budget on this felt really high too. Yeah. Like there was a lot of like the the landscapes, the sets, it was, all yeah. of the aliens in the background. It wasn't humans. No, the whole, yeah. I'm really glad they like, did that episode. Fucking finally. And then how many times they showed like the traffic in the sky. Like it wasn't just yeah. oh a two second clip. It was like <laughs> every time they'd go to a different part of Coruscant, they would cut with Showing this the the sky traffic. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know? So more of the city. It was yeah. It, I love yeah. I love Coruscant. I love that we got to see so much more of it. Yeah, like in depth. It was beautiful. Um, I cried. Coruscant's my favorite planet, and I was yeah. just like, a lot of history, <laughs> a lot of love. Yeah. Um. Use but I ain't got but I ain't. Stop. Scare the fuck out of me. Uh. But yeah. Um. You know. Rip Dr. Pershing, because, you know, he may still be alive, but he's not all there. Yeah, um, that was rough. That was rough. Uh, but I think I have a strong, strong feeling that we're going to be seeing Thrawn, like, pretty fucking soon. Maybe as soon I as think, the next episode. I don't think so. I think he's going to... We also didn't think we'd see the Mythosaur in episode two. I know, but, Just like... fucking... Just imagine him pulling out of hyperspace. At the end? Parking himself... On top of Mandalore, you look up, you see the chimera, it, the chimera on his ship, and then you write, it's just. You write. Doom. Doom. Well, maybe that's just how the episode ends. Like the season. Maybe not the season. Oh no, I think it'd be stronger uh, with the season ender. It yeah. could be, but that's I'm just saying enough... we don't know. Yeah, we don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Again, the Mandalorian is a show where every time you're like. I think we'll see that, but I don't think we'll see it early on in the season. They do it. They do it. Yeah, like, again, true. this season, we were very confident that we would see a Mythosaur, but we did not think we'd see it episode two. Yeah, that true. was pretty crazy. Season true. two, 
we were very we knew pretty much we were very like aware that we were most probably going to see ahsoka yeah but in the episode we get her on it starts off with ahsoka we That's never true. thought that was going to happen yeah you know it what opens I mean? with her um season okay. two again we thought we never expected to get luke we got luke yeah you know so there's a lot like this show has been very good at like <clears throat> subverting your expectations but in the coolest fucking way yeah um (laughs) (laughs) but uh but i mean who knows i i agree with you i think that that would be the perfect way to end this season because then ahsoka's next because ahsoka's next is yeah exactly but i think that it's very possible for the conflict to start in season three yeah and then that and like Ahsoka gets brought in to season three because of Thrawn, because of whatever, and then they take, you know, that to the Ahsoka series. You know what I mean? Okay. I don't know. Yeah. It's possible. Whatever. Yeah. It could happen. But yeah, uh, Mando was freaking amazing. Yep. Um, so good. World building wise, it was it slapped. Let's just yeah. say it. it slapped. <laughs> uh, I'm never gonna get enough of Coruscant. I uh, hope we get to see more of it. Yeah. I hope we see, I hope we get to see Mando go to Coruscant. Yeah. I do want to see that. Cause I want to really see cool. Leia. I want to see Leia too. It, I think we will. It felt like they were kind of like teasing. They were, they were teasing. Yeah. They were definitely teasing. Because that's her arena. That's where yeah. she is. So we'll see. I think. I mean, they've already kind of teased us. They're like something as big or bigger than Luke. Expect it. So, um, Leia. so Leia or Han <laughs> yeah. or the Millennium Falcon or Chewie or Lando, you know. Yeah. So we'll see. Got to be some OG. Star Killer. Who? Star Killer. I don't know who that is. Star Killer. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. Ugh. All right, um, but yeah, man, it was awesome. I uh, can't wait to see what happens next week. Uh, and really quick, I did want to go over this because. Um, our producer here <laughs> really loves his loves his job, loves his role, yeah. and um, he's really good at it. He's really, really good at it. I'm just trying to take a second to. I'm not. No, I'm trying to, what the fuck? So, uh, um, if you <laughs> watched last me. week's episode, oh God. you may have noticed something. Uh, you want to put this on the screen? No, I kind of don't. Put it on the screen. Fuck you. So last week's last week's episode was our 50th episode yep big deal right really exciting Did for, I bo- miss a... for all of us oh god so um uh we, I, yeah. so we were watching our episode because you know it was a fun a fun new episode we did our our drawing uh segment our draw star wars characters from memory segment and uh we had some technical difficulties <laughs> Oh, let's just support. let's just watch one first all right <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, go first. Okay. Sorry. i'm proud of this one okay you should be oh. um uh, pause it pause it wiggle right before you say i'm proud of this one. <laughs> that was it oh, damn. just wait just so wait bad. no okay just wait boop 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 I'm very proud of this one. Oh my you named him? Let's just yeah, it's freaking scary. out into yeah. song. So, I like it. Uh, so yeah, you. I'm really proud of you. I thought you do. I timestamp every single one. I thought you did too. Yeah. I thought you edited the uh, episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I joined your your, yep. your fucking song. Um, Good times. So uh, no more waiting a week to edit and upload. I mean, because I had all the timestamps. No more waiting a week and to <laughs> fucking edit and upload. Okay. Okay. That's Say the yes. Up that you called. Say, look at me. Nah, let me let me go back. Some stools. You need to make him sign something. Nah. Say yes. Yes. 
So you understand. Si. Show me your fucking hands if you're crossing your fingers. I'm not. <laughs> okay. This episode you're editing tonight. Go into the drugs. <laughs> Bro, right. we were watching, we were watching, and then it just starts, and we were like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. One out of nine <laughs> pauses, I'll take it. I'll take it. Hey, at least we got yeah. a funny clip. Yeah, at least it was funny. At least Bella didn't say anything off color. Oh, shut up. <laughs> As if it would be me. Uh, um, go to my, go to my uh, folder. I've got some good stuff. All right, let's, let's check it out. We haven't done this in like three weeks, so... I know. I mean, um, we, we've been running out of time. I don't want to like... I want to show funny ones, so hit that one, that video there. This one? Yeah. But pause it so I can read the uh, like uh, what it says. Okay. So this is one you kind of have to see, but... Um, so it says, POV, you and your cousin get banished to the corn room. Corn room. Okay, hit play. Oh my god. Oh my god. These kids are shelling corn, like just the whole living what? room. The whole living room what is full of corn. The whole living room. Yo. The husks. All the kernels on the floor. <laughs> That's you know whose house that is. Who? The lady that makes all the the mission tortillas. Uh huh. That's, That's their house. Yeah, I believe it. <laughs> it's a family business. You got the kids working too. Yeah. You get banished to the corn room. The corn room. Yeah, yeah, get it. Gets banished to the corn room. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Okay, and then. I love your Star Wars related ones. Thank They're you. Really cool. Um, go to the the plant one. Here we go. <laughs> So the guy with a giant plant. Okay. House plant. <laughs> All right. Creating a harsh and traumatizing environment so my plant can grow up big and strong just like my parents did for me. Oh my god. <laughs> Not yeah. the freaking... He's shaking the plant violently. <laughs> Creating a harsh and traumatizing environment so my plant can grow up big and strong just like my parents did for me. <laughs> and the guy with the side eye the whole time. I died. I don't think... Yeah. <laughs> okay. And I, I do have a Star Wars one, this last oh, one. Oh, finally. Yeah, it's worth Which it. Which one? This one? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> When the Clone Wars made us watch Jar Jar Binks get kissed. Um, when the Clone Wars made us watch Ahsoka get hunted for sport. When Anakin met the embodiment of the light side and the dark side of the Force and became Darth Vader only to forget all of it ever happened. Oh my god! When the Clone Wars made us watch Zero the Hut kiss Nice Noodles. Oh, oh my god! When the Clone Wars made Obi-Wan fake his own death uh, only to shave his head and just pretend to be a prisoner. When Anakin falsely surrendered, committing many war crimes. When Yoda could start talking to Qui-Gon Jinn's ghost, but nobody believed him, so he just went on vacation because everyone thought he was crazy. When the Clone Wars made Anakin flirt with a slaver. When Ahsoka is falsely accused of murder and the only person who believes her is Anakin, but then it's found that she wasn't actually guilty of that and the Jedi were basically like, sorry, you can be a master now. <laughs> All the buttons. All the buttons. <laughs> I just love the use of the soundboard. That was good. I, I didn't get it at first. I didn't know she was... The one doing it. Doing it? I, oh, thought, yeah. I thought Waiting it was like... a random soundboard. Yeah, there was... No. Random. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. That's good. Wow, a Star a, 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 yeah, not even just Star right? Wars, like a fandom nerdy related yeah. TikTok. You're welcome. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. Got you. You got anything <laughs> Star Wars? Silva, related? did you did you uh bring anything yeah. to the table? All he does is send memes to the group chat and then yeah, yeah. we have a literal oh, podcast. He this is send this anything. is Silva after he watched. You can never download shit from Instagram, it's so annoying. It's a whole ass chore just to can't you put links in the Dropbox? 
Yeah, you can, but he doesn't try to do anything. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so this was Silva the other day. This is real! This is Last of Us. This show. I thought this was CNN. <laughs> <laughs> Homie, oh my god, that guy, <laughs> the guy really thought the world was ending again. Bro, look at his what face. What do you mean again? Oh. Have you done this before? Uh, well, uh, did you experience 2020? Well, I guess. <laughs> Bro, look at his reaction. <laughs> what happened? This is real! This is The Last of Us. This show. This guy is out. I thought this was CNN. <laughs> wait, 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 wait keep it on the oh. keep it on the screen. Ew. I want to see what's on their uh, little table here, because that could have a lot. I to see do. a lighter. I see a lighter. So, so I mean, it's chances possible. are, <laughs> it's there somewhere. <laughs> I mean, it looks like their TV is in the closet. Uh, so it's definitely possible. Ew. I don't know, but this guy, I feel bad for him because he 100% thought this was real. Yeah. And he had a, that heart like, attack. Yeah. For, yeah. For... Like all the color in his face was just gone. <laughs> like his... He's like, we're going to die. Yeah. <laughs> like the, we're all the dead. existential dread. And then he's like, this is the last This thing. is real. <laughs> this is the last of us. No. The show. I thought this was CNN. He has to be high because <laughs> there's guy. no like, no, there's no, no news guy, anchor like. This guy's on that Maui Wowie. Yeah. You know I mean. like, <laughs> Jesus. Poor guy. Thought it was real. Uh, but yeah, we just finished The Last of Us. Yeah, it was so good. Did you watch Crazy. it? Did you watch it? No. Any it's it? really good. I played it, so I understand. Oh. But it's really good. Uh, but Did you no, like the game? Uh, sometimes. Uh, oh yeah, I love the game. Oh well, then why didn't you fucking watch the show? Because uh, it's like. I, you're, it's more interactive for me. I know. I'm weird like that. You're such a fucking bitch, dude. Like, because oh, you already know yeah. what's going to happen, you mean? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, he'll, he'll, he'll. Plus, not only that, <laughs> I like you create those scenes or like, you know? Like, yeah. No, it's dude. It's really so. good, though. No, I bet. It was no, yeah. really good. It was really good. Also, sometimes what I do is sometimes I save the hyped up show where I know it's really good. For uh, cloudy day, you know, it's like, ah, oh, damn! I just binge watched this show. I have nothing to watch. Oh, now okay. I'll watch it. Watch it all at once. Or sometimes I know there's a second season, so I won't binge it until there's like one and two. Mm. Yeah. Okay, that's that. fair. Also, I blame Netflix because just as how we were talking about in the beginning of the episode, uh, it's because of Netflix I started doing that shit. Where it's like you season binge. one is getting good reviews. Nope, still don't fucking believe it. Like, like <laughs> yeah. it's only until they don't trust it. Unless they have a minimum of two seasons, I'll still watch it. Yeah. But only then. So that's like, yeah. yeah. Times, I don't blame you on that one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Um, well, we started The Last of Us late. Yeah. Like last week. Yeah, we started it last week. We binged it, and we actually watched the second to last episode, the day that the finale came out. So then, as soon as we watched that, we watched the finale. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it worked out. Dude. Nothing got games, spoiled, right? luckily. Huh? You played the game? I didn't play the game. Oh Actually, I did not. Um, only because I don't really care for like horror type games. Because I. I don't want to say it's horror. It's just. Adventure. I mean, it's. There's some eh. suspenseful missions. Just like any other games, like oh, I hate this stealth mission because it's jumping nowhere. You wouldn't say but... zombies are horror. I mean, okay, I, I guess. Mm -hmm. But it's not a horror. Like, you're not going to find it in that genre, though. You know? Storytelling it, type I, of adventure. Nothing to do with this. Like, I'm just saying, like, if I know it's, it, I'm going to be in that. If I'm going to be experiencing, uh, like. A raised heart rate. <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. I don't like doing it alone. Uh, okay. Because okay. that's, I play no, games too, alone. <laughs> you me know, too. like, I'm not. I won't give giving yourself like, nightmares. I, yeah. I never, I played the games. Yeah. Never doing nighttime. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and that's usually when I play is like later, like at yeah. night. Yeah. So it's like I'm not trying to be sitting here in the dark alone. Waiting for clickers. <laughs> Waiting. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so not the vibe. So like I, I uh, the the plot always interested me because yeah. I knew the plot 
Yeah. I thought it was cool, but like I was like I'm not I'm never going to play the game, right? I'm not yeah. like I might, but I was like I'm not going to spend $60 in, in a game that I might not play yeah. because I don't I'm not in the mood to play it or you know. Um but I mean the show was incredible. It was really the good. show was incredible. I loved the um like that like the whole idea about of this zombie type of virus, but it's not a virus or it's not like zo- super or it's fictitious. Like, yeah, they're it's not like, undead. Yeah, undead. They're, it could, they're, happen. It could totally fucking happen. Yeah, it could totally fucking happen. So I'm like, but, holy and then shit! The way that like it's really interesting that there's still society. Like, yeah, there's still yeah, a that's government. Exactly, exactly. There's still a military. Yeah, because yeah. in like, every in every like zombie apocalypse or post apocalyptic story, like, it's like it's always madness. It's free yeah. for all. It's always a free for all. It's always madness and and there's just like. You know, like how in this story there's raiders and cannibals and like, you know, shit like that outside of the walls. Yeah. But like in most other stories, it's like that everywhere. Yeah. There's no government. There's no military. There's no police. There's nothing. Yeah. So I thought it was very interesting. We both thought it was very interesting that this in this story, there is those things. Like there is structure, there is there there is society, there is uh, still a, a form of civilization, mm-hmm. but it's within these quarantine zones. Yeah. And, and even within those quarantine zones, it's like martial law, yeah. where people are taking advantage of their power. So it's like it's not as simple as oh I'm safe in the inside the walls, but outside you know I could get you know killed or yeah. turned into a, a zombie or mm-hmm. whatever. So, um, which I was saying like, yeah, it's fucking horrible. Like how the, like the government or whatever is treating the people, but it's like, I prefer that to a walking dead type situation where it's all madness everywhere. Yeah. There's no such thing as safety. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or like society. Or society. Like, like there's no military, no government, nothing. It was fucking gone yeah you know like i th- that would be horrible like that's yeah. that's fucking hell because yeah. like there's you, no hope there's no hope like yeah. what are we supposed to because if like, you lose if you lose the government like the government falls the military falls society falls it's just chaos then how could you do that in the future right yeah if you went 30 years without a military how the hell would you start a yeah. new military exactly if you went 30 years without a government how the hell would you start a new government? Exactly. And like actually well, get people would, to like follow it. It would eventually it. happen, but it's like, you know how hard that would be? No, Like yeah. how long it would and take to get there? Everyone would want to do it a different way. No, no, no. This, like, in this situation, in The yeah. Last of Us, it's be- it's even better because it's like, um, it's, there's, that's, that, that structure is already there. Yes, it's flawed and it's bullshit, but it's like, like how what Ellie said to her friend and she's like, well, we're the future. We can change those things, you know? Yeah. And granted, you know, like, the friend got, like, a shit position, like, right yeah. out of the gate. <laughs> Literally. But, but even then, it's like, there's still that possibility. There's still that it's Like, well, you that could route. get a promotion. Yeah, but there's still that route <laughs> of, like, the, the fireflies, that rebellion, because, you know, there's still that fight, that movement. Yeah. Like, there's, there's, there can be change. There's hope for change. Yeah. And The Walking Dead is just fucking chaos, and it's like, well, you're, you're just either trying gonna, to survive. You're either gonna die a zombie, or you're gonna die from starving to death. Starving to death, or someone's gonna eat you that isn't infected. They're yeah. just gonna eat you because they're cannibals. Yeah, you know, <laughs> like that's like damned fuck. if you do, damned if you don't. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Uh, enough about Last of Us. It was fucking awesome. Um, I highly recommend it. If you guys have not watched it, it was really, really good. Uh, I also think it's hilarious that people are like uh, spoilers for season two because people have already played the no. second game. <laughs> they're like, I'm like, yo, I I'm I'm late to the game here and I'm not gonna complain. You know? Yeah, <laughs> like it's like, been out. It's fine. Um, but anyway, um, let's see how much time do we have? Uh, can we still do our drawing contest? Do we still want to? I'd say yeah, because I like it, enjoy it so. Two, three rounds. Two, okay. three rounds. And yeah. we, yeah, yeah, we got time. A little bit of time. All right. Want to do this? We're Let's doing do this? it. All right. 
Do you have? Yeah, I have yeah he has his paper. I'm going to move this a little bit. Okay, so we're going to do what? We said two minutes? Two, two minutes or like a minute and a half? I think two minutes. Two okay. minutes. Let me put this on do not disturb <laughs> because... Are we going to keep it into everything or are we going to make it a little bit more challenging like vehicles only or uh, creatures think... only? or No, let's do characters. Artifacts. Characters. Yeah, because that's easy. I mean, that's already hard enough. It's already hard enough. Yeah. <laughs> you want me to draw a, s a starship? It's right. going to be really ugly. Star Destroyer. <laughs> okay, so who wants to go first? Who wants to pick first? I can't think of anything right now, so... All right, I'll start us with an easy one. Okay. Chewbacca. Chewbacca? That's, oh, not, easy. that's not easy. Yeah, it is. He's just fuzzy. Okay, start. Oh, my God. I suck at drawing, like, hair, stimulating hair. Looks <laughs> horrible. Gotta do his, like, dark circles, you know? His eyeliner. What does his nose look like? <laughs> it's like a dog nose. I think so. Oh my god, my thing looks horrible. This is horrifying. <laughs> like, the stuff oh of god. nightmares. I don't know why you picked Chewy. Cause I love him. I love Chewy too, but god damn. He's so hairy. You relate. I do relate. Bruh. The fuzzy thingies. What's our time at? Uh it, it dimmed out, so I don't know. Oh cool. I gotta start the drawing. You suck at drawing. The industrial Characters. designer. Yeah, I just like more geometric shit. I mean, this is coming out a lot better than I thought for how quick I have to do this. <laughs> I made him, like, also giant. That looks so bad. <laughs> oh, that, that's time. Okay. It doesn't beep. I guess not. I think it beeped as soon as I unlocked it. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish. I'm done. Hey, pencil okay. down. Okay, okay. Jesus, he's huge. Yeah. Well, it's fucking Chewbacca. All right. Damn. Okay. Who wants to start? Uh, you go first. It was. All right. So <laughs> mine is kind of scary, but you know. Okay. Oh wow. So uh. I spent a lot of time on the face. Um, <laughs> you know, he's got like his like he's got dark eyes, like Slenderman combo. Like around his <laughs> eyes is dark, and then he's got like eyeliner. I probably should have given him pupils, but you know. And then I couldn't remember what Maybe. his nose looked like, so I kind of just gave him nostrils. And then he's got big lips and his little teeth. Um, and then I gave him his his bandolier, um, his little satchel, and then. I wish I could have spent more time on the feet, but they kind of just look like <laughs> little props shoes. That you went for the full body. Yeah, scare. props Thank for you. that. I, Super I, props. I'm never. Well, I mean, it's chewy. I'm you know, never so. that bold. <laughs> yeah, you just you you just do a face. Oh, well, uh, what? Let's no, see. Let's see. Stucky shit. Here. <laughs> stucky shit. <laughs> I mean, uh, maybe you should have given him pupils if you were gonna do eyeshadow. Yeah, well, <laughs> maybe. That's just a little scary. <laughs> But, all right. Oh, he's cute. Just a, you got a like quick the, little chewy. You got, like, yeah. the beard right. Yeah. Like, well. Well, good. there's there's a... There he is. He's cute. All right, let's all right, see. Let's see Silva's. Silva's. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. I love him. That's so funny. The hand, oh my God. the and hand. Uh, I started only doing the head, it. and oh it looked like God. a Pac-Man ghost. <laughs> so I was like, Oh, oh no. I love that. I love that mine's like true to size. True to size. True to, true to scale, full scale. I don't know what the word is. 
Ta-da. There we go. Ta-da. We are so good at this. Look at that. Art. <laughs> Art. There we go. We are very talented. All right. Next one. Silva, you got one? Um, let's see. No, I actually don't. I should have been thinking about that one. Let's I got one. Okay. I think okay, yeah. I got one. Uh, let me just take this off of low power mode because <laughs> Turned off. it likes turning off. All right. <laughs> Okay. Um excuse me. Let's see. Who would be good? For the things that pops through. Let's your say head. let's do Panda Baba. I don't know what oh, the hell no. that is. Go ahead. That's fine. Bruh. He Draw it. there Draw was it. the same species was in an episode last night. Bad bitch? Just just guess. Oh god. I'm literally about to make a stick for here. I don't know. What's the name? Panda Baba. I gave this one pupils, and I think it's scarier than yeah the one before. Does he have like little ears? Like little antlers? <laughs> I don't remember. I don't. I don't remember either. You think you know a character until you have to draw it, and then you're like, oh, yeah. no, I don't know it at all. Yeah, that is. Giving him a little button down shirt, okay? He's cute. That looks Star Wars y. <laughs> I probably shouldn't put that there. <laughs> Whoa. Does he have boots? He does now. My drawing has not like advanced since like since last week. No, since like third grade. Oh. He kind of just looks like a human with with a butt face. Yeah. I just made a pun. <laughs> Sketch. All right, mine is horrifying. Still have seventeen seconds left, I guess. You're yeah, not gonna like seconds. mine. You're gonna be scared. Am I? Yeah. Tango Mimi's. Yeah. Same. We went to bed at like four in the morning. Yeah, we did. We didn't even talk about that. We should have. Time. Okay. It's time. <laughs> who's, going, who's going first? Oh shit. <laughs> this is rough. I tried to go for the full body oh, like you. you I shouldn't have. There wasn't enough time. No. All, All right. right. Me first? You go first. All right. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. That's Look pretty good. Your camera? Look at that. Oh, that's one of those. It's the guy yeah. that has, like, balls on his face. <laughs> a butt face. This is like a tarantula to me. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Well, I, I gave him, like, those angry eyes, so maybe that's why. But, yeah, that's uh, Panda Baba. I like that he doesn't it's have canon. hands. Well, I didn't have time for hands or feet or shins, so... <laughs> Or clothes. Or, a, or clothes. Well, no, because I, I, I kind of was doing him after the Kenner figure. Okay. Like, the the way we see him in Bad Batch. Okay, okay. All right. So, well, there we go. Yours is cute. Um, Thank here's you. Here's mine. Wow. Yeah. I love it. So, I it kind of looks like a jockey. Um, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> it's supposed to be a space... <laughs> Looking shirt. I love how he has a polo. <laughs> yeah, I gave him a collar. I think the buttons ruined it. But uh, yeah, I gave him a little boots. I wasn't sure what his pants and boots look like. I love like. his six fingers. Yeah. <laughs> and then I knew he had he like... He looks like he has body modifications with the horns on his head. Yeah. Does yeah. he have like horns? He like does not have something? horns. He does not. Nothing on <coughs> his head? Huh? Nope. Nothing. I, I think I needed to even out the balls on his face. I think he has balls on his head, <laughs> but, but not, not horns. But I, I don't, does he have ears? I gave him ears. No, nope, I don't think he has ears. Well, well, here's my Panda Baba jockey. So. I mean, it's fucking beautiful. Thank you. Class, class his A. His arms are very long. Work. All right, let's All right. see Silva's. <laughs> I hate you. What are you? Oh, my miss. It's a panda holding boa. <laughs> this is not a Star Wars character. You have to draw. I have no idea, you just, dude. You draw your best, your best guess. So I could just run, draw a different species. Yeah, I don't care. Anyway. It's whatever you think. Okay. Whatever you think. Don't show that one. It's like, name <laughs> a one. Star Wars related. 
Aww. That's what panda he drew. Panda boba. Panda boba. <laughs> I mean, the panda's cute. Panda boba. Pandemonium. <laughs> Fucking panda boba. <laughs> no mames. Misheard lyrics. Ah, you All right, these. Silva, All right. now you pick one. You pick one. Uh, He's going to oh. pick a fucking droid again. Watch. Yes. Yeah, I know. No, not droid. Okay. Um, That's cheating. He's an industrial designer yeah, yeah. and he wants to pick a droid. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, let's keep it in theme then. Bo-Katan. Without Bo-Katan. the helmet. No mames. <laughs> okay, with the helmet. No, like, like, uh, like, do like an alien. Because that's, that, that's what's funny is when we do aliens, we don't know the, like, the details. Okay. The details. Yeah, because she's, she's just a human. She's just a human. She's just a person. The, um... Oh, my God. Java's a pet. Salacious B. Crumb. What's it called? Salacious Crumb. The monkey yeah, lizard. That. The monkey lizard. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Hit the... Oh, yeah. This all is right, going right. to be... Last one. Salacious nightmare Crumb. Nightmare fuel. Looks like a gremlin, no? A little bit? Kinda. It's like a gremlin monkey. Gremlin with like a beak for some reason. (laughs) I don't know how to draw like fucking legs that are bent. Like. (laughs) This is ridiculous. I really can't. Like I know what they look like, but I can't. I don't remember. I, so me, it's... me neither. <laughs> this is. Does it have ridiculous. whiskers? I don't know. Yeah, it has whiskers. Oh yeah. Okay. I gave it a. Ah, uh, you would I do some BS, beer. huh? <laughs> now I'm erasing those. Oh my god! I'm not falling for the cutting board again. I just did the head. I forgot what the body looks okay. like. He has like a mean resting bitch face, right? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, it's not a very friendly looking creature. <laughs> I guess I'm done. I think if I add more to it, it's going to like take away. Yeah, that's my problem. I put too many details and then it just turns into a blob. Six. Five, oh yeah, this is four, r- this is rough. Three, two, one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who wants to go first? I'll go first this time. Let's go backwards. Okay. Oh, he's cute. <laughs> That's good. I like his eyebrows. <laughs> yeah, it's like gremlin with yeah, a yeah. beak. Yeah. Baby Yoda ears. You only got a head though. Yeah. Cause I couldn't think of the body. I forgot. I know it's, it's like, like a, a monkey. Super. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, that's pretty good. I see it. I like it. I like it. All right. Um, here's mine. Let me see. Yes, I love that. So you included Jabba. I included Jabba because, oh, okay. like, you know, he's kind of like a parrot to Jabba. Oh, I love it. <laughs> that's so awesome, I got dude. the fat little man, and then kind of like a monkey. It looks like a. Is it Marmoset, the monkeys that have furry ears? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, he kind of, I don't know. It started out good, and then I kind of gave him a beard. And I, then... I mean, you know, the beard is a nice touch. Maybe he's been there for a while. <laughs> he's an older He's trying gentleman. it out. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think Jabba really helps sell it. Yeah, yeah. If I it love, wasn't Jabba, I don't I love, think you would know what it was. I love Jabba's titties. Yeah, I had to include those. <laughs> I love that. I mean, his pectorals. It's yeah. an important detail. I was going to draw a slime, but I was like, how do you draw slimes? So. He does burpees. You can tell. There you go. <laughs> All right, let's see yours. Uh, <laughs> go ahead. You did not. He looks like a chain smoker. What the <laughs> fuck? Show it. How, how no, sh- did you? He looks like he's in the mob. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? He's seen some shit. 
Hey, what? You got some cigarettes? <laughs> <laughs> the eye bags. Hey, what what star system do you come from? <laughs> you want some death sticks? Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. I love the way you draw like little potato bodies, <laughs> <laughs> and then like a giant head. It's like a bobble head, and then the stick arms and legs. Well, I've already accepted that these are not going to be good. <laughs> so I make that a pin. Yeah. Oh my god! Imagine. Wow, oh, the the rough collection. Oh my god! We really killed it. Look we kind of did. I mean, speaking for myself, at least, pretty good. Bruh. <laughs> I don't know if I'd use the ego. Oh yeah. yeah. How, do I, how how should I hold these? <laughs> Ta -da. Ta -da. Right, there we are true artists look at this Ta -da. i feel like you gotta draw the whole body to get the vibe across you know i mean i i don't understand why you went so big for them and then jabba is the tiny one he didn't fit because these are so big no Flip the page. <laughs> I wanted to put them all together. True. They're That's not fine. Cisco. <laughs> um, but yeah. Those... The the Chewy that Silva did looks like the um, Adventure Time. Style? Like, yeah. Yeah. He looks like the Banana Guards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Banana yeah. Guards. He looks like Bigfoot. Yeah. Like a Yeti. Yeah. It gave me Slender Man vibes. This looks like satanic shit. <laughs> yeah, it's the horns. I don't know why. Horns. I thought he had horns. Um, Your chew is cute, and then it just it progressively gets scarier as it goes. Well. It's like you were actually smoking a pack of cigarettes mm -hmm. <laughs> the more you had to draw. Yeah. Oh, my God. That, that was, was amazing. That was fun. That was fun. I love I think, this game. Yeah, this is fun. I like it. Mm -hmm. I mean, at least I'm working on, like, my quick doodles yeah i mean they're still fucking ass but <laughs> it's good practice. It, is, it is what it is it is what it is all right well i think i think that's it that's it for us today yes yeah. that's, that's time that's time that was that's a solid time. episode yeah solid episode uh thank you guys so so much <laughs> for joining us uh throughout our madness throughout yes. uh our chaos i hope you had fun I hope you had fun uh i'm i'm really enjoying these uh drawing uh characters from your from memory <laughs> segment uh we should we gotta name it something yeah Come a shorter little, name a little jingle for it or something yeah, that'd be cool. uh but yeah uh thank you guys thank you guys we love you um please rate review subscribe uh email us uh what you think about uh the newest episodes of mando bad batch all that fun stuff we want to know what you guys think uh what you uh you know how you feel about the the where these shows are going and you know the direction that they're going in and um you know we've got an all we've got a lot of new new listeners uh coming in every week so uh we love hearing from you guys and uh we appreciate the listen we appreciate the the view if you're yes. here on youtube so uh thank you thank you it really means a lot but like i said either comment down below what your thoughts are what you enjoy about you know the episode of the podcast anything at all or e go ahead and email us at punchachewypodcast at gmail dot com, and um, yeah, we'll we'll talk about it. Yeah. We'll, but besides that, uh, once again, thank you, and we will see you next week. Bye. Bye.